So cryptography in a sentence is the art of keeping secrets. Uh, essentially, there are different goals that you might have, uh, such as, you know, wanting to communicate with someone in private or when you're talking to someone, you, you may want to convince them that, you know, you are the person that they think uh, they are talking to. So there are different goals that uh, you might want to achieve in a secret manner, right? And cryptography is the science of enabling that. What I know of this from whatever you said is, uh, so I watched Imitation Game, which is a movie about... Uh, yeah about Alan Turing right. steam breaking the Enigma code. So c can you tell us where we started from in cryptography and where we have come to? Yeah, so cryptography uh, is really an ancient field, though it may not have been, you know, uh, given given this name until much more recently. You know, the, the desire to keep secrets is as uh, old as humanity itself, right? So you have like these very, very old codes like the Caesar cipher and so on, where Essentially, if I want to say something in private to you, I replace each letter by, you know, the letter five steps ahead of it or something like that. So uh, the field in, in its original form, I think, has always existed as long as humanity has existed. Uh, the movie you mentioned, and I mean, uh, the, the war and the efforts of building uh, unbreakable codes, of course, took on uh, like a profound importance uh, during that time. And uh, the field as we know it is actually also in a way inspired from what happened uh, during the war. Which is that, uh, you know, a, a bunch of really smart people put together a really uh, hard code to break, what they thought was a hard code to break. But they missed something, right? And that's what led to the, the break of the code. So modern cryptography seeks to kind of address this problem by saying that, you know, we will prove to you mathematically that the only way that you can break our code is by solving some, you know, very hard mathematical problem. So in some sense, you know, all attack vectors can be reduced down to like this one question of can you solve so and so problem. And then if you choose this underlying problem as something that, you know, maybe mathematicians have tried for like decades uh, and you have a lot of confidence that this problem is going to be very hard for any attacker then you can have much more confidence that your code is secure. So that is the okay. field of modern cryptography. I understood. So let me just say that, for example, if I use a Caesar cipher, then the code to break is that I have to figure out that this is five letters ahead and I just have to go back five letters. But we have come to a place where figuring out how to break this code has become much harder.